Okay, this will be a review on how to fix the P0441 and 445 error codes. So after the engine light came on, I put on the scanner and I noticed I got two error codes that are related to the evaporation control system, which is a purge valve that keeps the fuel vapors from escaping into the atmosphere. And so it's been on there for about 12 years, so now I suspect it's bad. So I'm going to try and replace it here. Okay, you don't need a whole lot of tools for this job. Basically this OBD2 scanner, which is worth its weight in gold, some pliers and some screwdrivers. The, the worst case, if it's been on there for so long, it's, it's hard to pry off. So here is the error codes after I downloaded uh, Torque Light and uh, error codes are what I'm going to go troubleshoot. Okay, here's the uh, purge valve I bought. I think I bought it at uh, Advanced Auto and beats going to the mechanic again to paying $400 to, to do a hour or two hour job. This is really simple. So this is one of the screws that you have to take off to get the intake off which allows easier access to the uh, to the valve and then the other screw is kind of hidden there on the right they're both two rusty screws so once you take those off the air cleaner comes off and you can flip it over and basically get all that stuff out of the way so the actual fuel valve itself is kind of on the back of the manifold it's a real pain in the ass to get to and here I have it highlighted in red I don't know it's about three or four inches of uh, a hose that you got to pull off with clamps it's really hard to do it, it takes a while but it's a really simple job so here's the the air cleaner and I'm gonna pull that off and once I pull that off I can fold it over and get access back there to the uh, purge valve. So like I said, it's it's a pain in the ass. It's only un unhooking two tubes, but it's a real pain in the ass to do. So right back here by the manifold, it's really hard to see here, the little nipple that sticks out that the uh, fuel hose goes onto, and that's what we're going to try to attempt to pull out. So here's the air intake. Take that hose off and then take the two screws I kind of pointed out earlier un unclip the, the air cleaner box and you can fold that right over and that gives you a whole lot more room to work if you take the connector off you can get the actually remove the whole thing from the system but I just chose to kind of fold it over bend it over here so now is a good time to check your air cleaner as well which is a real simple replacement so back there, I'm trying to point to it, it's, it's, it's really hard to see, you can't get a whole lot of camera in there, but there's a little uh, rubber bracket that the, the valve slides onto, and it's a bear to get that thing out. So I probably spent an hour and a half trying to, trying to monkey with that. So here again is the back of the, the valve, the nipple on the air intake, and it's just a real pain in the ass, there's not a whole lot of room to work. So the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the connector. Uh, connecting to that valve. So I ended up switching to some uh, needle nose pliers. Real long ones are helpful, and especially if they're at an angle. So once that pops off, that's the, uh, the first part, and then you can pull the valve off itself. Okay, this is the input into the purge valve. So all you got to do is clamp the collar and release that and pull it down, and then you can hopefully pull the fuel hose off. It, it was a little pain in the ass to get that off. It's been on there for over a decade and so I had to use a little bit of WD-40 and the screwdriver and kind of work it in there and then once I once I was able to pull that um, lip down off of the fuel hose it kind of popped right out so this was the actual easy part this wasn't so bad the other part the other connection up to the air intake was the real pain in the ass so here's the hose really simple job for that part and that's the little nipple that it goes on to Okay, so I wasn't able to film and do this all at the same time. There's probably about two or three inches to get a pair of pliers and the screwdriver there, but there's a little uh, three or four inch fuel hose that comes up from the fuel purge valve, and the easiest thing to do is there's a, a little rubber uh, O-ring or a rubber adapter holder thingy that you really have to pull on to get it out, to get the purge valve out of it. And I'm pointing to it right there. That's the easiest way I found to get it out, and then you can, you can move the two clamps up or in, into the middle of the hose and, and then pull on the purge valve and that'll pop that end out right there. The top part by the intake is a real pain in the ass because there's absolutely no room to work whatsoever. So there's the, the purge valve 
and all you got to do once you get it unhooked from the little rubber mounting thing is just pull it and like I said that'll pop right out all right here's basically the old perk valve I pulled out and then the new ones right here and basically you install it the reverse it's easier just to put the tubing on the purge valve and then slide it back in over that angled nipple and then once you can do that um, then connecting the, the inlet to it is is easy so this is the actual easiest part is removing the old one that was a royal pain so there again is that nipple I'm talking about and so that's where the, the hose connects to so like I said there's not a lot of room to work at least in a 2008 but after a lot of cussing and yanking on stuff it finally came out but again this is totally worth saving 400 bucks a little bit of frustration and you can just like I said slide that back on and bada boom bada bing it's it's in there really quick and you're on your way and save four hundred dollars so that was the most difficult part of the whole job after like I said a lot of cussing and it finally finally slipped on there okay here's what it looks like with the uh, purge valve going up to the intake and it's sitting there nice and pretty brand new okay now we're going to connect the inlet back up to the purge valve so again I'm trying to film this and slide that thing back on so once you slide it back on then I gotta do is uh, pull the clamp forward and uh, that's the easy part so now all you have to do is screw the clamp on to the air intake and then reattach the hose to that air intake which I'll do here in a couple seconds I'm gonna fast forward this up and then I got aggravated with the air filter assembly so I took the connector off you don't have to do that and I just uh, pulled the whole thing off the car and so that's why I'm connecting that so and now basically now I'm done okay, so here's okay here's the final result got the engine going check engine light is now off you have to reset the codes to actually clear that otherwise it'll stay on so once you've reset the codes in torque light it'll stay off if you fix it correctly alright so here's the end result $400 saved on a DIY job hopefully this helps somebody and please like and subscribe